I sincerely have a deep love and commitment to what I call God. But how I express that is very different now than what it was even 20 years ago. I have expanded how I perceive my connection in that. I've studied world religion, world culture for so many years of my life. And the more that I learned about that, the more that I learned about myself and how I experienced that connection. Therefore, my personal growth journey became very different. And I was in a relationship at the time where that created fear. It could have gone a different way. It didn't. And I understand that. And I'm going to be 100% transparent in, with our community because I ask the same. Right. Anytime we're in a conversation, the more transparent we can be about the journey of our life, mm-hmm. the more we learn from one another. I got to a point where I could no longer pretend that my belief system was very myopic in one way. It had expanded based on what I had come to know about myself and what I had come to understand from aspects of my journey. It didn't fit for the person I was with, and I understood that. So did that mean in that personal relationship that we should shoehorn each other in and make each other feel uncomfortable for the rest of our lives together? Or was the better thing to do to say, I honor where you are in life and I love you enough to let you go with love and to do the same for me And then to allow each other to go on our personal development journeys in other directions. Remaining friends, as we talked about, that we would do in our previous podcast. And that's what we decided to do. So there are times in our personal development journeys, if we're in a romantic partnership, that we do grow in ways that will not align. It's how you then come to the table and discuss that, understand one another, and make the decision to move either forward together or out of that connection that will make the difference. That's a great point. I mean, faith is is absolutely a big one. Um, I know politics, I mean, these are... The way that we understand the world, even even our willingness just to be open-minded or to open our thoughts to not be in congruency with the rest of the world or what is perceived as quote unquote normal. You know, these are aspects of personal growth that that we expand. And sometimes there are these expectations and relationships that where we get into it, it's gonna be this one way. And so you know, that's why we're having this conversation. How do we, you know, how do we navigate that without drifting apart? And and I, I don't know if there's an exact answer to that other than what you just said. There are situations where it's just not possible, and maybe the reason why one we one was in that relationship was because it was part of their growth and expansion plan at a at a at a greater capacity right they needed that relationship to help them expand as an individual spiritually mentally emotionally and physically as a person and it was a key aspect to the next level of who they are meant to become through the rest of their lives and they can be honored they can have honor and gratitude for the experience to help them you know, because maybe they love their so- themselves at a, a, you know, not from a egoic standpoint, but from a true authenticity standpoint. And so from there, you can be thankful. You can say, this is, 
this was meaningful to me in every ounce of it, even the hard times, the good times, everything about it helped me become the very person who I love today. That is no longer in a relationship with this per, you know, other person, but it now sets me up for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm.